Internet, good morning. This is Daybreak Sum 48 coming back at you guys with yet again another Variable Action Heroes One Piece figure review. Today we are taking a look at this particular character who I know nothing about, unfortunately. Why? Well, it's because I haven't gotten to this part of the anime with it where they introduce this particular character. I'm going to try and pronounce her name. I'm probably going to butcher it, but I'm sure someone in the comment section down below will let me know. So this is Perona, and she looks pretty freaking crazy, that's for sure. Now, like I said, I don't know anything about this particular character, but just by looking at her, wow, she's probably a firecracker. Now with that said, let's take a look at her accessories, and then we'll move on to the actual figure. So starting things off with this one that just fell, it is the translucent piece of plastic that they've been um, putting in with a lot of their newer releases. And it's just some saying. I don't know what this one says, but I'm sure if you can read Japanese, please let me know and that will be pretty cool. So you get that. You get a nice little stand with that as well. Moving on, let's take a look at her hands first. So you get a set of these nice posed relaxed hands right here the nails are all painted in and it just looks really really nice so there you go you get a set of those you get a set of these closed fisted hands right here you get a set of these come over here the seduction hand I want to call it so there you go and you get a set of these umbrella wielding hands so, nice, decent amount of hands for your particular figure. Up next, we'll take a look at her faces. And as you guys can clearly see, those eyes, those beady eyes, man, they kind of freak me out. I'm not a fan. But, uh, yeah, that's how the character looks, so they had to go with it. But there you go. There's the yelling face. There's the, I'm cute, and I'm going to stick out my tongue face. There's the, I am really pissed and I'm going to take your soul, that kind of face. And then the best face, in my opinion, is this crying with snot coming out of her, uh, her nose and her eyes bulging face. I mean, this is pretty freaking epic. I really can't wait to see this in the actual anime because... I think it's going to be hilarious, but yeah, love the attention to detail, and it just looks really darn good. So, that's that. So, that takes care of the basic accessories. Moving on to her little ghost friends here. As you guys can clearly see, we have two. We have this one who's kind of disjointed right now, but there's a reason behind that. And then there's one in the back right there. And I frankly love these ghost figures. They look freaking adorable and they look great. This one especially has his tongue out like that. His head can fully rotate but due to the fact that his arms are up you can't actually get his tongue to go past that point. But still pretty awesome because you can maneuver the head. Now why is this one disjointed? Well you can push it together and make it one solid piece but this one has a special uniqueness to it. You see this this, I don't know, this yellowish translucent plastic, well, it's to utilize this function right here. So you put that end right there, and you put this end right here, and you can see that there's a huge gap. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any of my One Piece figures on me at this point in time, but I do have this Chung Li figure right here. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to put it around their waist like this and voila! It looks like that ghost is phasing through Chung Li's body. That's pretty awesome. I love the fun factor that this incorporates. Now, is this something that I'm probably going to be using when it comes to displaying this particular figure? Probably not. But hey, the fact that they incorporated something like this, it just really, really makes the figure stand out. So that's pretty adorable. That's pretty epic. Now, moving on. 
we have this ghoul right here and unfortunately no it does not come with this base right here this is actually a tamashi uh, nations um, display base I really wish Variable Action Heroes gave us a base for this one. Why? Because it's definitely needed. You clearly see there's a peg hole right there. Any base will do. The Figma base works. Uh, the Tamashi Nations base works. Even the Variable Action Heroes base will work, but you have to buy it separately. But there you go. It looks freaking amazing. This one's just this nice solid piece. You could have it kind of wrapped around her legs. And you can maneuver the head left, right, up, down. You name it. Oh! you name it it's pretty much everything that you could possibly want so that's that and once again how do you do it there's the peg hole there's the peg you literally line it up and i didn't put it in deep enough but there you go and you can maneuver it whichever way you like so that's that all right and the last accessory that you get with this particular character is her umbrella now this is where the problem kind of lies love the attention to detail when it comes to this umbrella it looks freaking gorgeous i love the eyes i love that little swirl effect on the back right here but it's too heavy for this figure to hold you guys know when it comes to revel not revel tech when it comes to the variable action heroes line the female figures have these very very tiny joints and because this piece right here is either a a thicker plastic that I'm not aware of or it's definitely metal it feels like metal because when you touch it it's actually pretty cold same thing applies to the handle piece of the umbrella and on the top right in there you can see that it's coated in this metal piece so all in all I like the durability of it but it's too heavy so if you wanted to have Perona in this display that you see on the box it's not possible why because her arms will give out and it just literally collapses now another problem that this particular figure has is the fact that she has very loose hip joints and uh, that's a problem that i encountered with my ace figure and other people have encountered with other various characters in the variable action heroes lineup but that's because yeah i just ah it's frustrating but that's something that you have to deal with when it comes to the variable action heroes lineup now with that said do i think this is a pretty awesome looking figure yeah i think so i think they've really captured the likeness of this character and uh, all the expressions that you get with this character i mean you can clearly tell that she is going to be a crazy crazy character now with that said the execution like i said earlier is where this figure lacks so first i'm going to take this piece off because like i said it is way too heavy and there you go there's the peg hole there's the metal peg I'm going to take her off her display, and this display base once again does not come with her. Just letting you know. Alright, so I'm going to keep that on her, whatever. But this is the character, but as you guys can clearly see, her hips are really loose. And to have her standing with that heavy, heavy umbrella piece, it's not going to work. As you can kind of see, she's already bending forward because, yeah, she just, her joints are so freaking loose especially the lower half so let's take a close look at this particular character looks pretty freaking crazy love the attention to detail with that crown piece even her hair looks really magnificent uh, the fluffiness of this shawl piece looks great I love the red. Now this piece is definitely on the harder side, so articulation will be limited due to that fact. Uh, so her arms can go up, but as you guys can clearly see, uh, this piece is going to hinder that articulation. But all of the, uh, I guess the joints are there, the articulation. It can swivel as the... Uh, ball joint it looks like a figma joint but it can maneuver around that i mean it's pretty much all there 
Now, when it comes to the upper diaphragm, yep, she does have one. It's right under her boobs, pretty much. When it comes to the waist, yep, it's there. This skirt piece, super, super, just all over the place. I mean, I understand why they did this, but I mean, look at that. That thing is freaking loose as hell. But it it works. It's just all over the place, like I said. When it comes to her legs, love the stocking. The black and white look great. The boots look freaking ridiculous. It looks like clown shoes, but that's how the One Piece characters are. I mean, you're getting a nice panty shot right there, but yeah, it's her joints when it comes to the hips so freaking loose so it's that's a bit annoying and try to remedy that by putting a little bit of nail polish in there but we'll see if that actually works all right articulation when it comes to the lower half you guys can clearly see it right there you the legs can go out that far it has the swivel built in the knee joints are pretty good can fully rotate at the feet go up and down and there is a toe joint right up here so articulation not bad at all so all in all do i recommend this particular character the answer is maybe if you guys are a variable action heroes fan and you guys want to collect them all then yeah this is a must have because she's one of the characters but if you are just really into like the main core then this is easily a pass uh, especially if all the figures have this loose loose hip joint right here um, yeah it's just that's the major issue and I think hers is worse than my ace figure which is really bad and he has a hard enough a hard enough time standing as it is now be careful with this figure. I think it's a great figure if you do plan on picking it up, but uh, due to the fact that this umbrella piece is super heavy, uh, her joints being very small as it is, and then the loose hip joints, if this thing topples over, a peck can definitely snap. So do be very careful. So guys, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to watch this video. If you like what you saw, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave it in the comment section down below. And yeah, watch my other reviews. And with that said, this is Daybreak Sun 48, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.